lights out everybody. Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. Our scene, a doctor's office. The doctor, a genial middle-aged man, is smiling across his desk at young Mrs. Peggy Conan. And he's saying... Well, Mrs. Conan, I don't think there is much more I can say uh, other than this. Don't be too afraid. This sort of thing has been going on since the beginning of time. Millions of women. So don't be frightened. Go home. Tell your husband. Be happy. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, thank you. I'll walk. Okay, miss. Walk. Yes, I'll walk. It takes longer when you walk. No long, longer to get home. What will he say? What will he say? Baby, 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 baby. What will Bill say? What? What? Oh, it's out of the question, Peg. Out of the question on the money I make. Now, look, this isn't confetti. It's bills for groceries, bills for laundry, bills for gas. I, I tell you, Peg, it's out of the question. Out of the question. Out of the question. Out of the question. He'll say out of the question. Oh, Bill, what will you do? Hey, hey, watch the light, lady. Oh. Yeah. Watch where you're going, little lady. Them lights are for you as well as for the car. Well, what will Bill say? What? Uh, what did you say? Say you don't feel well or something. Your your face, I mean. Oh, I'm all right, officer. Sure you don't want a cab? No, I'm... I'm walking home. Okay. But watch the traffic at the crossings. Take shorter steps. It'll take longer. Yes, shorter steps. Do you realize it'll set us back for the next five years? We won't be living. We'll always be paying bills for doctors, for hospitals, for nurses, for this and for that. Hey, Will he say that? Sort of thing has been going on since the beginning of time. Millions of women. So don't be afraid. Go home. Tell your husband. Be happy. Be happy. 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 Doctor said that, didn't he? Happy. Bill. We have been happy. Rowing, 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 rowing. I don't think I'm going to row anymore. It's too hot. Uh huh. Just drift. Uh, now, what was I talking about? Happiness. Oh yeah, yeah, happiness. Now, you know, I think that the most important thing in life is to be happy. Don't you? Oh yes, Bill. Now you take ordinary people. On a day like this, what are they doing? Working in factories, working in offices, working, working. Isn't that right? Yes. But the park is here, the lagoon is here, the boats are here. Man, if they just had a little common sense, they'd say, the devil will work, we're going to be happy. And they'd come out here and they'd go boat riding. <laughs> Four million people. <laughs> the lagoon would be awfully crowded, wouldn't it, Bill? No, I'm serious. <laughs> All right, so I'm not working today, so I'll have five bucks less. But I'm doing what I want, and I'm happy. I'm happy too, Bill. Are you? Honest, Peg? Uh-huh. Oh, gee. When I think that only two days... And I wasn't even going to the dance. I took one look at oh, you. Oh, that's a song, Bill. Oh, it's the truth. Oh, gosh, I'm happy about you, Peg. I'm happier than I've ever been in my whole life. Happy. We have been happy. 
Four cokes, a double mall, two kisses, and a marriage license. Yippee! Bill, behave yourself. Oh, no. The bride and the bridegroom's been a heavy night in jail. Hey. Huh? It's starting to rain. Shall I put the top up? Oh, no, no, please. Huh? Want the rain in my face. Oh, it's wonderful, Bill. The wind and the rain. I feel as if I were flying. Oh, this is Angel. You know, all my life I thought that if I ran away to get married, I'd be so frightened. But I'm not afraid the least little bit. I love you, Bill. And everything's wonderful, and I'm so happy. So happy. We've been so happy. Uh, should I take, should I? Well, I don't know, Bill. Well, speak up, Mrs. Connor, or forever I have to hold your feet. It's been 30 cents already. Oh, I was only warming up. One more time, and I know I can hit it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, mister, I'll try her again. Yes, sir. Here you are, son. One for a dime. Knock down the top bottle and win the little lady at great big, beautiful doll. Okay, please. Yes, Here right. I go. Oh, you hit it, Bill. You oh, hit it. I told you I would. <laughs> okay, mister, pay off. What'll it be, little lady? A Cupid or a Popeye? Popeye. Popeye. Oh. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you. You can do the same, ladies and gentlemen, with a great big, beautiful doll. Oh, Bill, isn't it cute? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Hey, let's sit down over here. All right. Oh. <gasps> Darling, you're wonderful. Wonderful? And hungry. <laughs> oh, Bill. After four hot dogs, three sodas, and all those peanuts, you ought to be sick. I am. But I'm hungry. <laughs> Bottom of this bill from the Ozarks, at me. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you're so crazy, and I love you so much. <laughs> you talk like that, and I'll kiss you right in the middle of the midway. Double dare you. <gasps> hey, maybe there's a law against kissing your own bride. Maybe there's a law against being so happy. Oh, you got the prettiest little funny face. <laughs> you know, I used to think that when I got married, I'd be going to the French Riviera, Honolulu, and huh? well, you know places like that, and here I am, Luna Park. Oh, pray. No, darling, you don't understand. I like it. I I'm happy about it. Why, I'll bet there are thousands of women who've been to all those famous places <laughs> who'd, who'd give every minute of it to be in my place with someone she loves and who loves her. Women are really awfully simple people, darling. They they want love. And I have you, and I'm happy. Terribly happy. Go home. Tell your husband, be happy. Be happy. Be happy. I could be happy. Mother. Peggy Connor. Mother. Mother. Mother, mother. My mother. Mother. You mark my words, he'll never make a good living for you, never. No drive, no ambition, a worthless young man. Never make a good living for you, Peggy. You'll never have anything. You mark my words, just mark my words. For the last time, listen to me, daughter. <laughs> now, if you marry that boy, you'll cry a great deal more, believe me. Oh, stop crying, Peggy, and listen to me. Someday you'll be a mother, and you'll understand that I'm telling you these things for your own sake. When you have children of your own, you'll understand. Understand what, Mother? Understand what? Should I understand now? If you were alive, could you make me understand now? Well, Bill's all right. He's all right, I tell you. It's just that he used to laugh. He laughed all the time. How can he laugh now? Rent gas and it's light coffee. Rent gas and it's light coffee. That's what I don't understand, Mother. Doesn't the world want people like Bill who can laugh? Must everyone be wonderful at making money? Isn't there a place for people like Bill who don't want a great deal? Can't things be so that they can make the little they need without growing so old and tired they forget what it is to laugh? And be happy at just being alive. Fine mess. We're in a fine mess. Where will we get the money? Where will we get the money, Peggy? Where will we get no. the money? No. Gotta stop thinking things like that. Got to. <laughs> Think about <laughs> him. Shine. Shine, lady. Shine. Shine, mister. Shine. Shine. 
What will he be? Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in his petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Our, our brief candle light but a walking shadow. A poor Oh, sad. no! No. And so, my fellow citizens, standing here in profound humility, where so many of our truly great have stood, all there is left to say is this. In accepting this high office and in assuming the leadership of our great nation in these troubled times, I pledge myself... No. In that moment, he realized he no longer loved semicolon. In that moment, the past with her comma, last tear hyphen, drenched moment comma... Maybe. And so it is with a great deal of pride that this network brings to you the premier radio performance of the world's premier violinist. David? David Conant. diagnosis of the patient only confirms my profound belief that such diseases can be cured. Maybe. So, on investment of these issues, with my concern, will net you profit of not less than the sum of twice your investment. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> silly I... Peggy. You used to say that, didn't you, Mother? Silly Peggy. Because I laughed at the wrong time. Maybe I laughed then. Maybe I'm laughing now because... I'm afraid. It's happened to women for millions of years. No, no, not that. Pain goes quickly, I know it, but... Bill. What'll Bill say? No, no, stop thinking. Stop thinking! Slowly, very slowly. What was I thinking? Oh, yes, my boy. I'll be so much wiser by the time he grows up. Give him advice. Yes, Mother. Of course, Mother. Yes, I'm listening. You're wonderful, Mother. Oh, you're right, Mother. Just as you say, Mother. No, no, not like that. You're wrong, Mother. I will not, Mother. I won't do it, Mother. No, Mother. No, no, not that way. Why, Mother? Explain, Mother. Tell me if you know, Mother. Why is it like that, Mother? Yes. Look like. What will he look like? Lovely child. May I hold him? Looks like you. His father's hair. Beautiful child. Beautiful child. Beautiful child. Yes, why not? Why not? David Conan. Beautiful child. Hey, Bob, read all about it. War crisis, war crisis, war in Europe. I tell you, read the newspapers. There's your answer. Raise them up so they can blow them up. The answer's in your newspapers, I tell you, Peg. Raise them up to blow them up. What can I answer him? I'm not good at answers. If, if Bill says that, what will I say? So I said to him, I said, Joe, I will not go for a ride. And he said, why not? And I said, why should I? And he said, well, you say if you don't, when will you? So I give him a smile, you know. And he said, you look here, Helen Young, if you see Maybe it'll be a girl. Yes, why not? Girl. Mother. A lovely girl. Mother, you think my dress hangs right? Isn't it too long? Or is it too short? Don't you think I would have it made a little freer here? No wars. Killing, dying, just... Mother, do you think I ought to go out with him after what he said to me? 
Mother, I don't think that's a good school. Really, I don't. Cannon fodder, oh, bomb fodder. Raise him strong and blow him up. What's the good of it, Tate? What's the good of it? No, it can't be like that. Not with a girl. Ruth. No. Anna. No. Nina. No. Elizabeth. No. Carol. Yes. Carol Conan. Carol Conan, the season's Carol previous Conan. Conan. Carol young. Conan, beautiful young. Carol Conan is nationally known. What could she be? Mother, do you know all about babies? You do you know? After all, look at me. Well, I was wondering about Junior. He won't eat his cereal. He won't touch his bottle. I don't know what to do. I simply don't know what to do. Maybe. Carol Conan, opera. Tonight, curtain, 8.30. Yes. Help me, wouldn't you? Afraid of you? That's not right, is it? Walk slower. Walk slower. If, when I get there, Bill, and you look at me, if then, for the first time in my life, I can say everything I've been thinking before you have a chance to say anything, then you'll understand how I feel, and because you love me, you won't say anything that'll hurt me, and you'll take me in your arms. I can only think things. I can never say them clearly when they should be said. Maybe everybody's like I am. Talk when it's too late. This time I've got to talk now, right away. The minute I get in the house, because if you talk first and say things that hurt me, you and I will never... Oh, Bill, all I want is to be happy just a little. Everything's so mixed up all over the world that... Bill, all I know, all I want is... You say something, Mrs. Collins? Oh. Oh, Mr. Tomasi. What's the matter? You walk right up past the house, huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe you think you don't live here no more. Huh? I, I was so preoccupied, I, I didn't notice. Uh, sure was a hot day, huh, Mr. Collins? Yes, it was. I don't like to go in. Oh, but your husband, he's at home, huh? Home? Sure, he come about ten minutes ago. I'm going to see him go upstairs. It is late, isn't it? Sure. You put it in the girl, but when a husband come home from work and a wife and not home, sometimes you get a plenty man, huh? <laughs> I bet you're scared, huh? I, uh, I better go up. Hey, I'm going to come up before you and fix that water faucet. Uh, all right. Very well tonight. Yeah, yeah. In 60 years, even a fool learns to do something. Oh. Good evening, Miss Conn. Hot tonight, yeah? 
Yes. The, the baby all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot better. Let's see. He's so tiny, isn't he? You like a baby, yeah, uh, Miss Conan. Well, I... Yeah, I know, I know. They look like lots of trouble, but you bet you for people who have got little babies, the whole world. Yes. Believe me, baby, it's good. It's good. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Maslow. Peg, where you been? I've been worried stiff. Was it just walking? I got home. There was nobody here. I was ready to do a calling all car, so help me. What, are you going to stand here by the door all night? What's the matter, Peg? Oh, honest, I don't care if there isn't any dinner. Yeah, I'm so full of love for you tonight. One potato in me and I'd pop like a kid's balloon. Bill, I want no, to No, 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 wait. I'm going to tell you. Me? Yeah, come on over by the window. Phew, it's hot. Nice breeze to keep you cool while I burn you up with the news right off the press. News? Bill, I... Flash! Ambition comes to Billy Connor. Bill, if you'd let me no, tell you... how can you tell me when I'm trying to tell you? Now, listen, sweet funny face. Today, the great lords of industry unlock the octopus long enough to hand Billy Connor... Now, hold your breath. Five bucks more a week. Bill, I've got... Yes, so help me, five dollars. Oh, is that terrific, Peg? We move right into the upper brackets. Got everything we want. Bill, please listen to me. I, I've got sure, to... as soon as I finish my say... No, i got to say it, Peg, because I've been kind of getting up steam to say it all the way home from the office. Now, all this may sound a little screwy to you, but here goes. Bill, I want to tell you Oh, today... please, funny face, don't interrupt to tell me about the bargain you saw today, because, well, if I stop talking, I'll lose my nerve, and then maybe I won't ever say it again. Peg, this $5 a week, now that's over $250 a year, and I began thinking right away how we could spend it. Spend? <laughs> yeah, you know me. So, I got thinking about maybe we'd get another car. But the old jalopy's pretty good yet, and then I thought maybe we could take a cottage someplace. But then I don't get a vacation until next year. So, uh, then I got thinking. <laughs> Why, heck, what's the matter with me? Why should I be afraid to talk to you? There's, there's no reason to be afraid. Is there, Bill? Of course not. See, what I'm trying to say is that well, look at the newspaper headline. The war, yes, I the saw it. The world going to smash, maybe. So I got thinking the heck with it. There isn't time enough to go anywhere or plan anything, and, and who wants money anyway? So how can we spend it to make both of us really happy? You know, to make our lives... Uh, I mean, if one of us should die before the other, uh, make our lives mean something. Mean something. Oh, Peg, I've got to say it faster. I won't be able to say it at all. Peg, let's spend the money for a kid. Well, Peg, what do you look at me like that for? Oh, I know we never talked about it, but... Well, I was kind of scared of the idea, and I didn't know if you'd want one. Well, Peg, for Pete's sake, say something. Looking at me. Well, what did you want to tell me before? Say that at least. Oh, Bill... Wait till you hear. <laughs> <laughs> 